welcome to techno analyst so today we will see how we will uh, unlock administrator account uh, using third party device with this utility you can unlock any uh, server operating or windows operating system password i just wanted to tell you please do not misuse this what i'm going to uh, teach you right now and it's your responsibility uh, i'm not liable for any you know loss or a, or anything in all the server we can see there are administrator uh, account and uh, most of the time uh, we have if we if you we don't have the password of the administrator account or if you want to unlock you can unlock this uh, administrator account through the uh, third party device so what we are going to do so the following step uh, we will be undertaken like first of all uh, i will show you how to boot uh, sorry how to download uh, here and boot operating system after downloading that operating system we create one uh, usb bootable uh, device with that usb device we can boot that os uh, where administrator is uh, we don't have the password of that administrator account and uh, we can after that we can execute this utility and unlock the administrator account so i will show you everything uh, each and every step even though we will uh, you know uh, i will put some administrator password which is uh, difficult to memorize and it should be toughest password like that uh, we can put and uh, we will unlock that password also yeah and one more uh, thing i just wanted to share with you before we are going forward dear viewers i would like to make a small appeal over here i respectfully request that you guys please subscribe to my channel it appears uh, that 99.8% of those who watch my videos do not subscribe so only 0.2% is my subscription rate even though i check uh, in last 28 days my channel has attracted 4300 visitors yet only seven of them have subscribed so i encourage you to motivate us to continue producing such a content and uh, i am eager to create many more videos like uh, like that in the future it's my humble request to you please subscribe to my channel <laughs> and yeah my daughter also uh, wish to share a message with you please subscribe to techno analyst so now we will start first of all uh, what we will do we will download the hiren boot cd just uh, open the google and just type hiren boot and go come down and uh, click on this file name which is hbcd p underscore into 64 slash uh, dot iso once you click dot iso file it started downloading it's a 3.1 gb file uh file so make sure that your pen drive is minimum uh, 8 gb so it's a 3.1 gb size so you can use a 8 gb pen drive for that it's sufficient so download is completed so now download is completed now we will uh, download usb utility so with the help of that we can create a bootable usb just click on usb booting and download the usb uh, download the utility click on download to download usb uh, utility so now usb uh, utility is also downloaded so now both the thing is downloaded higher end uh, boot cd setup and usb uh, uh, bootable utility so now we first we will uh, open usb bootable utility and at the same time we can insert the pen drive which is i'm using over here for its uh, size is 8 gb so you can see over here uh, i already insert uh, one 8 gb pen drive and uh, it has a uh, name is cccoma underscore x64f so what i will do i will using this pen drive as it is it will uh, delete the par partition create the partition and make a bootable uh, pen drive for us so we are not doing anything changes in the pen drive that we just keep this existing existing data as it is now we will run the utility 
and uh, we will select the image and uh, this is a high ren os 8 gb this is my pen drive which i selected here i will select uh, here i will select the operating system high ren boot iso image now i will directly click on start so it will warn me there is already uh, you know uh, data is uh, available in the pen drive so it will be formatted don't worry about that now it will create a bootable pen drive with our high end boot operating system utility now the operation is completed right now we can see uh, the our, our in our pen drive is uh, ready with the operating system and it is a bootable pen drive okay so now what we will do in my uh, vmware i will connect this uh, pen drive so right now uh, i have vmware workstation so in that vmware workstation we have one uh, windows 10 operating system so i will boot that windows 10 operating system with that pen drive so i will connect that pen drive and we will start this vmware system so what we will do we will change the bootable order i will select hard drive because i have just wanted to load a windows operating system windows 10 right now uh, because as i told you because as i told you earlier that uh, i will you know uh, open administrator account and uh, we will apply a strong password to that and after that we can unlock that administrator account so right now i'm just uh, opening windows 10 operating system and uh, just giving a strong password to them just giving to strong password to administrator account so now right now so we will open uh, computer management and we select user and here we can see our all the users so i will set the password for the administrator account which i told you earlier that we will use a strong password and we unlock that password So I will use this password which I obviously don't remember so this password is set and uh, now we will close this So now I will shut down this Windows 10 operating system. So now I will boot. Uh, I want to boot this system through uh, higher end boot, which we create created. So what I will use here, I will use direct ISO image, and through ISO image, I will boot this operating system. So same thing I will change in uh, boot, boot mode. CD-ROM drive I will select on first and I will restart the system. So directly it is boot from that uh, ISO image which we selected. Uh, in this VMware uh, we have you know uh, functionality, additional functionality that uh, directly iso uh, through iso we can you know load and run but if you don't have then you have to use that pen drive so now it will loading a uh, higher end boot cd
so now we will uh, click on start all programs and uh, password security password windows login unlocker so there are n number of utilities over here you can choose anyone which is your uh, which you prefer so now i can see all the account which i created in windows 10 operating system so no matter if you create in the same thing you will see if you use windows server any windows server a windows 11 any operating system you will get all this information like this so what you have to just uh, select that particular user click on reset slash unlock uh, on button and click on ok this the password is reset successfully done that's it you, you, you don't need to do anything in this way you can unlock any password so so again i will go to the firmware and i will change the mode to hard drive which are earlier selected as a cd drive so now this will boot from the hard drive so windows uh, 10 will be started windows 10 will be loaded So now I can see administrator and techno RD. So I will directly click on administrator sign in. It should not prompt me for any password. Directly I can I should enter into the desktop administrator desktop. So I just click on administrator and let's wait for some time. So in this way, you can unlock any Windows system using Hiren Boot Utilities. So thank you. Thank you so much. Please uh, subscribe to my channel. It's my humble request to all of you. Please subscribe. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to Techno Analyst.